All right, we can determine if uh, three points are collinear if we find their determinant and if it is equal to zero. However, if it is not, if they find the determinant and it is not equal to zero, then they will not be collinear. So let's look out at example number two, and got a little picture down here. Notice how P, Q, and R are collinear, all in the same line. P, C, and A would be collinear, but P, C, and Q would not be. But we also have a little triangle here too. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the determinant of our matrix, and we'll call it, you can call it whatever you want. Call it stick figure, just call it, make sure it's school appropriate. Uh, we have three, negative one, zero, negative three, nine, and three. There's a nice little comma there. Just a little, you just can't see very well. All right, so we got some ones here. So what we want to do is we want to find our determinant. Well, the easiest road to do that to probably use would be row two. So if we want to find the determinant of row two, that means we need to find row two, so, or column one, two column one. Here's your element two, 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 uh, two, three, two, three. Now the good news is um, your element A21 here is a zero. So what we're gonna do is, we don't have to worry about that. So all we really have to do is figure out where your cofactor of two, two and two, three are. So let's find your cofactor of 2, 2, which we need to find your minor first. So if we do row 2, column 2, that means we're going to have a 3, 1, and 9, 1. So 3 minus 9 gives you a negative 6, which means your cofactor, well, since 2 plus 2 is an even number, that means you're going to multiply by a negative, or sorry, a positive 1, which means your cofactor is a negative 6. So now let's do 2, 3. So that means instead of this row here, where I need to do, how about get rid of row 2 and column 3. So I have a 3, negative 1, 9, and 3. Sorry, I can't erase that or else I would just be gone. Uh, all my numbers would be gone, it would be travesty. So three times three is a nine, minus one times nine is nine. Oh dear, oh dear, oh just kidding. Negative one times nine is a negative nine, so this really ends up being a nine minus a negative nine, or nine plus nine, which is 18. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have your cofactor of two, three, well those add up and those give you an odd number. So if we take negative one times 18 gives us negative 18. So let's go ahead and plug these values in for a sub two, one, or sorry, two, two, we have a negative three. We're gonna have to multiply that by your cofactor. Over here we have a sub two, three, which is a one, and we're gonna multiply that by your cofactors. So we have negative six here. We have a negative 18 over here. So that gives us 18 minus 18, which is a zero. And since we get a zero here, that means that uh, the points are collinear. If you get anything except for a zero on your determinant, then they will not be collinear. So, be on the lookout.